Good morning, Baba Bees. Welcome to Mindful Monday Practice. Today's topic is self-awareness. So what is self-awareness? Do we even really know what that means? Well, what it means is it's the ability for you to identify who and how you are in any given moment. It really requires the ability for you to pause, tune in, and become aware so that you can regulate and self-care. Why does this matter? Well, the way we're in relation to ourselves is the way that we are in relation to other people. So if I am not aware and able to tune into how I am and what's going on in my body and in my mind, how can I really be in a relationship with anyone else? So what does that take? It takes the ability to stop, to pause, and to spend some time just with myself. When's the last time that you did that, right? So we're so often playing video games and watching TV and, you know, doing things to keep our mind busy. When's the last time you just stopped, paused, and tuned in to you and how you are doing? and just spent some time being quiet with yourself. Might be a little uncomfortable at first, but it's really, really important. And that's exactly what we do on our yoga mats. So today, I want you to let everything go, and I want you to just tune in to what's going on inside of you right now. So we're going to start our practice with balloon breath. Take your hands on your belly. And I just want you to gaze at something soft, soft gaze at something in front of you. Exhale all the air out of your lungs so you can take a nice big inhale. So, and then breathe in and feel your belly expand and feel those hands pull out. And then exhale, let the air go and feel the belly pull in and up. Inhale, your belly expands like a balloon. Exhale, let it go. Now I'm gonna be quiet while you take some breaths and just tune in to what's going on inside of you. When thoughts come to mind, let them go and return to the breath. So just notice, how are you feeling right now? What's your mood? How does your body feel? And then shake it out, let it all go. And now we're gonna move into um, some postures on the mat. And I want you to be aware of how you're feeling and aware of your breath in each of these postures. When thoughts come to your mind, I want you to let them go and just return to your body and return to your breath. So spending some time in quiet with ourselves. So come to all fours. Press the floor away with your hands, knees underneath the hips, cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the seat, lift the heart. Exhale, press the floor away, let the head go. Inhale, drop the belly, coming through cow pose. Exhale, press the floor away, come through cat. Then inhale again, drop the belly. Exhale, press the floor away, angry cat. 
Then inhale through a neutral spine. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dogs. So my hands are pressing the mat away. My biceps are in line with my ears. My hips are high. My heels are heavy. And I can have a nice soft bend on my knees. Inhale. Exhale. Let the thoughts go. Stay aware of your breath. Stay aware of your body. Then slowly walk your feet to the top of the mat. Soft bend in your knees. Let your chest rest on your thighs. Grab opposite elbows and then just, I want you to just sway side to side, letting the head go as you hang here in ragdoll pose. And then release the hands. Press down hard to the floor with your feet. So really root down through your feet and slowly rise all the way up to mountain pose. So I'm strong in mountain pose. My shoulders are down and back. My palms are facing forward. And I'm gonna inhale, sweep my arms up, extended mountain pose. And then exhale, hands to heart center, soft bend in your knees. I want you to step your right foot all the way back. So my legs are hip distance apart. I'm coming into high lunge. And I'm gonna reach my arms up. If this is too much for your balance, I want you to think about spreading your feet further apart, okay? So that I'm on a train track, not on a balance beam. My core is engaged, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Bring your hands back down to heart center. Take a breath in. And then on your exhale, we're gonna step that right foot back up and we're gonna sit back into chair pose. So I love this pose. It's a nice, strong, strengthening pose. My tailbone is heavy, my belly is in and up, my arms are reaching high. If this is not comfortable for your arms, don't worry about it. Bring the arm, hands down to heart center. So I want you to feel like the weight is in your heels and you can wiggle your toes. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. On your exhale, can you sink a little bit lower? Good, then bring your hands back to heart center. And then slowly straighten the legs, shake it out. We're gonna move on to the other side. Inhale, sweep the arms up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center, lower into the legs, step the left foot all the way up and back. So high lunge on the other side. Find some stability in your feet. So squeeze your inner thighs together, press through that back heel. Feel like you have a nice strong base beneath you. And then reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale. Two more slow deep breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. On the exhale, hands come to heart center. Step the left foot up. Finding chair pose again, sit nice and low. So you can keep your hands at heart center or you can reach the arms up. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more, inhale. Sink down, lowest point, exhale. And then release, stand up nice and tall. Good, we are gonna take one more pose today. We're gonna step back to warrior two pose. So I want you to take your left foot, step it all the way back, and then spin that back heel flat. My front knee is going right over my second and third toes. 
and I'm gonna reach my arms out. So my right arm is out, my left arm is behind me, my gaze is over that middle finger. So I'm bringing my shoulders, I'm not leaning forward, my shoulders are right over my hips. And just stay steady here, inhale, exhale. So I love this pose because I have everything on this back hand are things that have happened in my past. Everything in this front hand is the future. My head is right here in the center, right here and now. Inhale, exhale. Now straighten this front knee and then just pivot the right toes forward. Reach up strong into star pose. And then take your right heel now, dial it back. Take your left toes straight ahead, arms out, bend into the left knee. Breathe in, breathe out. Letting any thoughts that come to mind go and returning right back to the breath. Now straighten the left leg. Pivot the left toes forward. Good, and then I'm gonna take a big bend in my left knee and step forward so that I'm back in the middle to the top of my mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, soft bend in the knees, forward fold. One more time, hang heavy in ragdoll pose. Great, grab opposite elbows. Make sure you have a soft bend in your knee. And you really shake your head yes, shake your head no, let it all go. And then plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, walk your feet halfway, and come back to a seated position. We'll close practice with our seated twist. So take your right foot over your left. <clears throat> Sit up nice and tall, reach that left arm up. Hug the right knee in. Take your right hand, place it right at the base of your spine. Inhale as you lengthen the spine. And then exhale, twist up and over towards the right. Inhale, exhale. Release the twist, switch out the legs. Left leg goes on top this time. Take your right arm up, give yourself a nice tight hug. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist over towards the left. Inhale. Exhale. Come back through center. Find that easy sit. We're going to close with balloon breath again. So hands on the belly. Maybe place one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. And I want you to check in again. So return to the focus of the breath. Feel your belly and your chest rise on the inhales. Feel it fall on the exhales. And just notice, how are you doing today? How are you doing right now? Maybe it's different than when you started this practice. As you move through your week this week, I want you to notice or keep track of how many times you can just stop everything that you're doing, be quiet with yourself and check in. Just like we ask others how they're doing, check in with you. How are you doing? I hope you have a wonderful Monday and we will see you next week.